What's up, YouTube? This is Eric, the Weekend Aquarist. Uh, I haven't had a lot of time recently, the past week or so. So I haven't been able to do much in the fish room, but I, I just wanted to give you a few updates. Basically, what's what's been going on down here. Uh, I have done a little bit, a couple things to get ready to move the bettas and set up their tanks, but uh, not been much time. So let's, let's take a look. I mean. First, we got the, the 75 Mabuna tank. It, it, it's staying the same. Uh, got the sump underneath. There is the one fraud that's there. I think there's two more in there. I can, I, I'm not sure. There were two similar to that on this side and there was one over here, but they kind of come out and go back in. I also did a fry in here, but I left the top, the lid off of this. And uh, it's no more, I don't think. I don't know if the cat got it or if it jumped into the ta main tank. It's just not in there. I, I don't know what happened. And there's the bed is, uh, I moved the light from the, that I had in the five and a half, this Nitro, Nitro light. I actually dropped it in the water. I hurry up and unplugged it. Uh, still works, so we'll use it for now. Uh, but yeah, I gotta get those guys set up and moved. Uh, here's the shrimp and neon tetra planted 55. Uh, glass needs cleaned. Some of these plants in the back need trimmed. Overall, it's, it's doing okay. Uh, things are growing in pretty well. Uh, no complaints so far. Just need to get a little more growth going on. This coffee folia, I don't know, that one leaf looks like it's doing all right. The rest of them. I don't know. It, hopefully it pulls through. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. The Seleucide colony is doing great. I threw threw a ball of java moss in there. As you can see, it's spread out all, all over the tank. Uh, it was in the corner. Uh, there is a... Uh, I threw some duckweed in there. They'll chomp that down this week. They always do. This The top was completely covered last night. Guffy tank, the guppies are breeding non-stop. I think I lost the Pandagara, I'm not sure. I saw it Friday or Saturday, but I haven't seen it since. I don't know. It was doing great, it was mowing down the algae wafers and the shrimp pellets and, oh, uh, maybe it's hiding back there and I just, haven't seen it. I don't know, hopefully it comes out. Uh, big boys or girls. Uh, you can see the Oscar's got a little a few scales missing. Every once in a while, the Oscar and the green tear get into a little bit of a tussle. Uh, probably gonna move the green tear. I mean, as in rehome, not sure. It's a beautiful fish, but it's a bit of a bully. The blood parrot holds its own. The Oscar during feed time pretty much hold, uh, holds its own. And there's a blue car back there that you know comes out to eat, but I'd like to see that more. And the green terror pretty much just tells everybody, hey, this is my house. I mean, the bigger tank would probably help, but it is what it is right now. Under in the five and a half is still sitting here. I have the filter going in it just to keep some movement. There may be some shrimp in there. I couldn't. I saw two, and then I couldn't find them again. Uh, when I re when I take the water out, we'll find out. Speaking of betta tanks, here's the wood I bought last week. I've been changing the water every every day. I didn't change it yesterday, so I got to change this. But just dump it out. Put some hot water in there. Let these tannins kind of soak out because I'm not a big fan of brown water, but. Try and get as many on as possible. That's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, quick and sweet, short. Uh, hopefully, uh, today, not today, tomorrow maybe, I'll be able to get it started on these beta tanks. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please click that like button and subscribe. I really wanna get this stuff done. Uh, so, uh, see you later.